Hey you guys, it's Britt. So I don't really know how to start this video, so we're just gonna get right into it. If you are interested in hearing what I have to say, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I just wanna kind of lay it all out there. I wasn't sure if I was gonna make this video or not, but here we are. I've tried to film it three different times, so hopefully four is my lucky number. Um, you know, when I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't sure kind of where it was going to go or how much of my personal life I was going to share. I didn't know what my content would look like from a year ago to today. And I have kind of figured it out along the way. I have done my best to do what my audience wants to see while also, um, you know, kind of staying on track, but also let you guys into my personal life a little bit more and, you know, share updates and things as I see fit. So that being said, I was never sure how much of my life I was going to share with the internet. The internet can be a very cool place and it can also be a very cruel place. And I think as content creators, we've all been on both sides of the fence where sometimes you feel like you're making everyone happy and you're on the up. And sometimes you feel like you're on the down and you just kind of like roll with the punches and figure it out. And I think because of those highs and lows, you know, it, all, it also has made me a little reluctant to share certain things and like I said, I'm just, I'm doing what I am comfortable doing and I'm just trying to do my best. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, my intention is to hopefully someone can take a lesson from this or maybe no lessons at all. Um, you know, I've always tried to format my videos where Either you're using them for entertainment value or maybe there's something that I've said along the way that has resonated with you or maybe part of my story that I've shared has aligned with your story. I know that it was like that with my uh, high school experience video. A lot of you guys could um, relate to me because your high school experience was very similar or your time before or after high school was very similar. So I really enjoy when people can take something from my videos and that's what my intention is with this video as well. Um, and if you don't take anything from it, that's okay too. It's all good. So let's talk a little bit about changes in life. I've always been a creature of habit and I really like to plan things out and know what's coming up next and if I can have control of it then I will do my best to make sure that it works out in a feasible manner and make sure that it's a good outcome. Change can be very scary so coming from someone with my personality I don't like change and it can be very overwhelming to even think about something happening where you don't feel like you're ready to take that on and you're not ready to go down that road, whether it's emotional, physical, financial, um, anything, it doesn't matter. Change can be very overwhelming. Over the last month, there have been a lot of things unfolding that have been what I would consider chaotic at times. Sitting where I sit today, things are starting to make a little bit more sense to me and things are happening because they are just meant to happen that way. If I knew I would be sitting here right now a month ago, I don't know if I would have told you that. Uh, I might have called you crazy and, you know, look the other way because a month ago, um, there were just a lot of things happening, a lot of different wheels in motion, and I was trying to make sure that I could remain calm 
during those times. I want to read you guys this quote because I saw this a little while ago and over the last several weeks, month, it has really helped me in kind of more of those stir crazy days. This is a quote from Deepak Chopra. It says, all great changes are preceded by chaos. And I literally kept this screenshotted in my phone. I looked back at it on so many of those days where I felt like, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know which way to go. Do I go left? Do I go right? Um, the sign says go right. Should I go left anyway? What am I doing? Everything ended up working out exactly as it does. And I hear that saying a lot. What ended up happening today was that I gave my resignation notice to my full-time job. And this is a positive. It is positive, you know, on both ends. It is time for me to develop and continue to grow professionally. And, you know, there were a lot of things that led up to this point that I would consider a lot, a lot to handle. And just as I've heard so many people say, things will work out, everything is gonna be okay. And the um, transition that I'm making is, um, you know, I'm not doing YouTube full time. <laughs> the position that I'm transitioning into is similar but very different. So the position that I'm transferring into is going to not only allow me to continue doing exactly what I love to do, it's also going to give me a little bit more of a work-life balance, and it's also going to grant me more financial freedom. And I am so grateful and so blessed to be able to transition into a, um, into a position that is better and better in more than one way. So I am so grateful and I am, I just feel like the weight of the world has been lifted off of my shoulders today. And I am so grateful, you know, um, I've learned a lot over the last, um, you know, few years several years and I feel like I'm at a point right now where it was time for a change and sometimes a bunch of you know stuff happens leading up into that point and today I kind of feel like is the pivoting point where I can finally breathe I know that something better is right around the corner and I am grateful for the last few years, but I am very, very much looking forward to my next chapter. And, you know, YouTube will continue to be a part of my um, daily life. I am going to continue to produce content for you guys. You know, um, I, I will say there might be a little bit of a transition period where there's a few days without an upload, but we will talk about all of that later, not right now. Um, but I'm super excited for this, and I, like I said, I wasn't sure if I, you know, I tried to sprinkle in parts of my personal life, and unless it's like a big life update, uh, you know, I, I just don't know what I'm comfortable sharing, and I hope that that's okay with you guys. I hope that you will be patient and as time goes on that will definitely change because a year ago or a year and a half ago I wouldn't have thought I was be sitting here filming this video right now but I am so grateful that you guys have given me a platform where I feel safe sharing parts of my personal life and life updates as they happen and yeah so content will continue through and through and yeah so you know the reason that I'm hoping someone can take something from this video is because I realize how scary change can be 
and I'm sure a lot of you guys listening to this are just like me where you want to control every aspect of your life and if something goes left you want to make sure that you gain control of it before it stresses you out. If you are in a position, whether it's in your personal life, in your career path, in your, um, you know, friend group, within your family, whatever it is, if you are in a position where you feel like a change would make you either happier, uh, provide a better quality of life for you, put you at home more often for your family, or, you know, me, my family is my boyfriend and my dog. I don't have kids, but I like to be at home. And um, so whatever it is, if you feel like making a change would make a different part of your life better, then, you know, chase after it. You don't have to chase after it every second of every day. Kind of start to lay those steps out just so that you know that you're working towards your goal, whether it's moving into a different house or changing your job or whatever it is. Um, you know, maybe seeing a therapist, that can provide a better quality of life. Whatever it is, make the steps towards your goal and just remember that just like this quote says, all great changes are preceded by chaos. And if it seems really crazy now, and if a change is dropped in your lap and you have to do something to, um, you know, make it to the other side, then know that all of your hard work and all of the chaos will sort itself out and it will end in a positive result. And for me in my life right now, the, um, the result from all the chaos is making a um, transition and it will provide me with a few things that I named earlier, which I'm really excited for. So either way, I did want to share this with you guys. I am really excited for this next chapter and some of the content that I have coming up for you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for allowing me to have a platform, have a voice, have a you know comfortable factor with sharing some of this stuff with you guys most importantly though i really deeply thank you guys for giving me the opportunity to make mistakes because we all are human and we will make mistakes from time to time but you allow me to make the mistake fix it and not be you know, absolutely just ridiculed for it. I appreciate you guys so, so much. So either way, I'm going to finish out this video getting ready to cook dinner and enjoy the weekend. So either way, for now, if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.